What is going on guys? What is going on? Welcome back to another review edition of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman and today we are talking about multi-chain capital ticker symbol MCC. You simply buy Ethereum and they farm on multiple chains and return the profits to the holders of the MCC token. Essentially it is farming as a service and function similar to a crypto mutual fund. Now, does that sound too good to be true? I don't know, but we're going to go through their website and their dashboard, and we're going to take a look at the ETH Explorer and see how much validity it really has to it. This I first heard about this over on Twitter from a couple influencers starting to talk about it. Now we have seen a dip in price. I've done a little more research, and that's why I'm doing this video. So if you come over to mcc.holdings, this is their main uh, website it shows you the contract address address so you can make sure to buy the actual token and it is on the ETH network and all the liquidity is over on Uniswap you can even watch a video here if you click on launch dashboard it comes over here now this is where things get interesting the way this token works it is a tax and reflection token whenever you buy the token there is a 10% tax so if you Think you're gonna get 100 tokens you're really only gonna get 90 where do those 10 tokens go those 10 tokens get sent out to the other holders of the mcc token that means once you're a holder every time somebody buys mcc tokens you will be getting more tokens and your bag will continue to grow it is essentially you are just staking by holding your tokens in the metamask wallet now when you go to sell there is also a 10 percent tax fee this 10% tax fee goes to the project treasury that is used to add liquidity to Uniswap. It is used for buybacks of MCC tokens, burns of MCC tokens, and marketing to continue to grow the community and holder base of this project. You guys all caught up? Buy MCC tokens. They farm on your behalf on Ethereum, on Avalanche, on Polygon, on Solana, and any profits they make, they put back into the projects with buybacks, burns and marketing on top of that anytime somebody buys the tokens that 10% fee gets paid to you anytime somebody sells the tokens or when you sell the tokens that 10% fee goes to the project treasury for liquidity for burns buybacks and marketing sounds pretty good supply demand cyclical buybacks price goes higher that's what I am thinking if you're here you see the nav is only less then $20 million for the market cap. Liquidity is pretty large for a $20 million coin at $5.5 million. If you scroll down here, you can actually see their farming wallets transparently. Over $6 million is farming on Ethereum. 1,000 1, is farming on Avalanche. 5.3 million on Phantom and known on Polygon currently. These are actively managed by their devs. If they see opportunities on different uh, chains and different farming uh, platforms, new tokens, they take the funds that they have and they jump in trying to make those gains so they can pass it back on to their MCC holders. Now the most interesting part is this. And this is what drives the value and drives the sustainability of the project. If you go here to the buybacks tab, you can see they've almost already bought back $3 million worth of tokens. The average buyback is $63,000. And you can see, wow, I, even before I did this video, they're actively buying back right now. Just today, November 27th, these are all the buybacks. I didn't even see these last ones. 51,000, 38,000, and 44,000. They're trying to pump this before I get the video out, I guess. They have bought back 200,000, 162,000, 214,000, 40, 40, 39, 81. Wow, that is pretty astonishing. Almost a million dollar in buybacks just today, all in the form of Ethereum. I like that. You can then go down and see all the historical buybacks. This project is brand new. It only launched, I think, somewhere around 1123. It's only like five days, six days old. And look at all these buybacks coming in. This is quite impressive. If you want to connect your wallet to this website, you don't really have to. Then you can see what your holdings are looking like, how many tokens you have. You can keep track of how many tokens you are earning on a daily basis. When I first was getting ready to do this video, there was only 4,400 holders. Now we are seeing almost 10,000 holders along with their follower count jumping from 6,500 up to 10.7 thousand followers. You are still very early. 10,000 holders is almost nothing. If you put that, compare it to Shiba, they have 1 million holders. If you compare it to Floki, they have 340,000 holders. This is a brand new project, five days old, no real marketing yet. 
very little holders but we are seeing a rapid exponential growth of followers and holders as we speak along with over a million dollars in buybacks just today i think things are getting interesting I'll come over to Dex Tool and you can see the chart. Like I said, this thing did just launch November 19th. Had a great run up, some profit taking. Uh, but let's go ahead and let Todd Butterfield take a look at the chart and see what he thinks here. In front of us, we have the chart of Multi Chain Capital, MCC. And you can see here uh, from the beginning here, we're trading somewhere around down around a 25 to 30. We did have a 4X rally immediately in uh, approximately three days. And then you can see quite a bit of profit taking came in. Volume increased on the sell off. Looks like a little bit of a selling climax here. I would think that low is probably good. And uh, we could range bound between the 40 and the 0 0.0010 high here and go through some a uh, little more accumulation and then look for ending action for uh, further price gains. Thank you. So what Todd Butterfield is saying is that there is a very uh, short historical representation on this chart. Obviously, it's a brand new project, but he thinks we are in a consolidation range. The low has already been met down here, and we are going to work to new all-time highs in the relatively near future. You can also see here over on Twitter that they are doing a Twitter space live on Monday, November 29th at 12 p.m. If you guys want to see what's going on, I am going to assume they're going to have some big news that is probably going to help appreciate the price. I think we can almost double up by November 1st. Is that crazy to say? Probably. This is not financial advice. This is a small cap project, but it does have real token utility with real buybacks, real revenue, and simply hold your tokens and your token number increases. Who doesn't love more tokens? I've really gone over everything there is to go over on this. Essentially, you are relying on the developers to make good investment and farming decisions so those profits can be dumped back into the MCC token, the token that you are getting more and more of for each transaction, and you are hoping that the price will continue to rise. A lot of people on Twitter now are just now starting to talk about it. With price targets of about a billion market cap valuation, we are currently only at $20 million. 20 million dollars right now that is quite the multiple and really 1 billion in this ecosystem isn't all that crazy we are seeing projects go much much higher than that ship and doge for example went to 40 billion dollars in valuation i think mcc is something to take a look at i think some twitter influencers are going to be involved they have a ton of marketing money i think somewhere around eight million dollars in marketing money to be spent on shillers, on investors, on influencers, on buybacks, and on burns. I think this sends the MCC token price higher. Remember, it is only on Uniswap and the Ethereum network, so if you are going to be involved, realize that the Ethereum fees can be high from time to time. So if you're getting involved, you probably need to come in with a little bit of oomph in, on your investment to offset the cost of not only the 10% uh, transaction fee to get involved with the project, but also the Ethereum transaction fee, which we know can be 40 50 200 dollars from time to time definitely worth taking a taking a look at that's all i have to say there's not much else to the project it's really just that simple they do have a lot of coming soons on here as far as their staking their governance and here on the buybacks so i think they're going to continue to expand on their product and the development and hopefully if the market turns around their farm yields will continue to increase and that mcc price will continue to follow thank you for tuning in for your daily updates right here at learn crypto make sure to hit that like share and subscribe button remember multi-chain capital it is serving as a crypto mutual fund all you got to do is buy swap your ethereum to mcc let the mcc tokens build up in your wallet and let's have the team earn some juicy yield farm profits so this thing can go to the moon.